Hi, I'm Ganesh Ravindran, Head of GSA Partner Solutions AI Track at Google Cloud. As enterprises today increasingly focus on data-driven transformation, real-time insights and smarter analytics solutions powered by AI and ML can help them build innovative, secure business models and optimize operations. We have with us here today Sanjay Singh, EVP and Global Head of Google Business at HCL, talk about how HCL is helping customers build secure and innovative digital businesses with AI and ML. Sanjay, welcome and thanks for being with us here today. Thank you, Ganesh, and great to be here and great to be talking on a very interesting topic. When I talk to many board members today in our customers across the world, the first question that they ask me is that how can we leverage our data better to drive better business and, and transformation for their, their own employees, customers, and partners worldwide? We have seen across the world, uh, Ganesh, is that there are, there are multiple patterns of adoptions across the industry. In, in, in retail sector, for example, we are seeing hyper-personalization happening across our multiple customers that, that we work with. With hyper-personalization, I mean how to use the data of the enterprise data, the social data, and what's happening out there at a zip code level, at a gender level, and at a diversity level, and create products and merchandising solutions that meet their needs. Second is that in, in healthcare, we are seeing a huge transformation play out in terms of real-time claims processing and personalized medicines. In the, in the financial sectors, we are seeing traditional banks transforming into a pure online bank, digital bank, and using data at the core to drive sustainable solutions and lending practices. We are seeing in manufacturing and in industrial use cases, of customers doing visual inspections using Vision API and, and so on and so forth. In the, in the services industry, in the telecom industries, for example, we are seeing artificial intelligence being used to improve customer care and customer retention and churn analysis very, very effectively. Mm -hmm. And in, in the logistics in industry, we are seeing AIML being used to do route optimization, supply chain rerouting, logistics planning very effectively to manage the current crisis that we saw during the pandemic. So many interesting use cases, Ganesh, that, uh, that we have been working with our customers across the world. Many of these are very large enterprises, uh, Fortune 500 uh, customers that we have worked with. And, uh, and one of the things that HCL has done uh, in, this, in this endeavor is that is that we have uh, we have built a dedicated practice around the Google Cloud capabilities in a dedicated manner, uh, which we call it as a Google Cloud ecosystem, where we have over 12,000 people, about 20% of them are, are certified on various Google Cloud technologies using data, AI, and ML. And, and we are currently helping customers in these four broad areas of strategic data consulting, smart analytics, creating unified uh, unified views using using dashboard products from from Google both from a native side as well as off the shelf components and then and then enabling customers to have actionable insights using AI and machine learning models across persona based applications whether it be a VP of supply chain VP of operations mm -hmm. so very very effective and and personalized delivery of transformation use cases uh, that we are seeing across the spectrum Ganesh. awesome thanks uh, Sanjay for the perspective with evolving and expansive business models, enterprises are increasingly exposed to cybersecurity threats and online theft. How can enterprises tackle these? Very interesting question, Ganesh. In fact, I will answer this question through a use case. Mm -hmm. Recently, uh, for a customer in, in the US who is in the logistics and in the transportation business, uh, they had a very similar request, a very unique re request, which came from their business users and uh, what they were witnessing was a lot of uh, package theft and, and interception. Mm -hmm. And they wanted HCL to come in and help them do this uh, a solution for them where they can prevent such kind of a cyber theft. Um, so what we did is that we pulled all the data which was lying in their enterprise systems and, and in the transaction systems to see what is the shipment going to, what location we geotagged it. And then if there were any hits coming in for tracking of the packages from a from an unintended location or unintended users, that was flagged off as a fraudulent use case. 
And it was completely run by the cybersecurity knock, knock center where we provided them this uh, entire plugin. So kind of broad business and IT together uh, from that perspective, Ganesh. Awesome. Um, and we see similar adoption patterns even in, uh, even in uh, many other uh, use cases across the world. Interesting. Okay. And as enterprises focus on innovation, how is HCL helping drive uh, the same for enterprises with AI and ML? Essentially? So multiple use cases. Um, let me share with you uh, a few examples. Mm -hmm. um, the example number one is, let me share with you an example of how we have used AI and machine learning techniques in a typical IT operation, which is con considered to be very mundane. So this customer is, is a Fortune 50 customer. They have like uh, 12 data centers, 60,000 servers. And one of their biggest cost was cost of processing their P1 and P2 tickets, which was costing, which was about 5,000 or so a, a per month. So what we did is that we used Document AI. Uh, we pulled all the historical data into a BigQuery platform. We plugged in Document AI techniques. We read all this, all the problems that has happened. We, we plugged them into different patterns and, and, and buckets. Mm -hmm. We created an AI and machine learning algorithm on top of it, which, which then triggered the downstream work streams to kind of avoid outages and prevent them in the first place. And we were able to prove to the customer that by using this technology, they were able to throttle about 53% of their outages, which would have normally occurred in the normal line of business. Mm -hmm. The other example I want to give you is from a retail and a CPG industry. So this, as you know, in the in the CPG industry, the you know, one of the most important costs and uh, and interlocks with the CPG and the retailer is that the CPG play, pays the retailers for their shelf display space and location. And in that, in in, in this case, what you know, what this customer was doing is that he used to send out a manual truck driver. He used to go into the store. He used to count the number of boxes and products lying on the shelf. He is to then fill up a form. He is to send that form back. It is to get manually reconciled in the back end. And then all kinds of corrections which was happening used to be happened manually. This used to take about two weeks of process and there were a lot of lost revenues and, and leakages from an optimization perspective. Wow. What we did is that we, um, Ganesh, we, we built a, a, a mobile app for this uh, dispatch. Uh, person and mm -hmm. using his using his tablet and we trained the vision API on the Google Cloud to recognize the products lying on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So if it is a particular uh, product A, B, C, D, it could just by pointing the camera at the shelf, uh, the the customer was able to read the number of uh, items on the shelf, what type of product it is, count them. And then also using geofencing and Google Maps, we used to pin the location and it is to map back with the location of the particular retail store where the person is standing standing in. And all this was done in real time and in less than less than five minutes, it was uploaded into the SCP system. The SCP system used to used to then reconcile in the back end saying that this inventory is low. They used to they used to be able to schedule the next shipment out immediately. Or if it is an if it's a non-compliance, they were able to flag it off with the retailer that hey, what we are paying for is not being followed, and all of the cycle time was, was reduced drastically uh, by the by the customer. Amazing. Uh, the in in the in the banking industry also we have seen that uh, a lot of uh, banks want to lend only to companies which which follow sustainable practices, and for a large uh, in investment banking we build an entire sustainable reporting on over 200 of their clients that they were servicing mm -hmm. and the and the loan uh, loan extensions was done based upon the sustainability score which is to come out out of a visual dashboard and a big query at the back end so we see increasing adoption uh, of ai and ml to drive true business and digital transformation across the world awesome those were very interesting and innovative solutions that effectively used AIML to deliver value for a customer Sunday. Thanks for sharing those. And as always, it was great having you with us and a pleasure listening to your perspectives. And thanks everyone for catching us today.